Hi guys, this is Y and the professor and we're back. First of all, happy holidays to everyone and all the best for the upcoming year. Second, our disclaimer, we are not professional videographers, so we do the best I, we can with our videos. So we've been out of the loop for a while now. A lot of our customers have been asking if we're still in the um, color wheel restoration business. Yes, we are. We've just had a happy event this past year, the birth of our first grandson, and we have been very busy with the baby. And as a result, we have not uh, done any type of um, color wheel restorations, except for what you're going to see here on the video, or Christmas tree restoration. And we have some beautiful Christmas trees in our collection, seven foot and eight foot. There is a aluminum Christmas tree, which I have not been able to get to this year. I might get to one or two. But if you are interested in any of those or in this Evergreen Happy Face Fella here, Try Light, you can always go to our website, which is www.vintagealuminumchristmastree.com. No plural, just Vintage Aluminum Christmas Tree. So today we're going to demonstrate uh, this Restore Try Light, how it works and point out some of the uh, key features and what you will get if you decide to purchase um, our Evergreen tri -Light. Uh, Some of you uh, are aware we have been in the business of restoring color wheels for quite some time. We do an excellent job with them, and we also offer a uh, guarantee on our services. So as you can see here, we are using spiral lights. We discover, especially with some of the older, uh, well, they're all older, but the older tri lights with the lenses that have um, that the color has worn away, we discovered that the spiral red, green, and blue lights really show well and help with that deficiency. So if you buy our tri light, you will get these spiral lights, but you will also get the um, white LED lights if you want to switch up. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on so you can see. And then the professor is here. He's going to put the lens cap on in a minute. Just give me a minute and get, I should probably have you put the, so it's kind of difficult to tell here, but they do show up well through the lenses, the color lenses. But as you can see, they're running. So professor, can you turn this off before you put that on? Or do you want to put it on with the motor running? Again, we're very, very novice at this. There's the professor, and now he's going to turn it on. As you can see, the lenses on this particular evergreen tri light are not as vibrant uh, and as saturated as they once originally were. So you're not going to get that, that full color effect. You can get a subtle. But what we've done is that we include these, and I'm going to place them over the top here orange, green, and red. These are acrylic lenses that fit under the clips inside the cover. So these are great, great substitution. So we'll send both. We'll send the originals and we'll send these okay, with the tri light. So I think you'll like these best. You know, you might even want to put them on, on top. I've never done that, but um, I've worked with the acrylic lenses and I do enjoy them very much. So you'll have different variations you can use here. White lights, color lights, acrylic lenses, not acrylic lenses, and so on. Okay. The other thing I want to point out, and I'm going to stay very quiet. Um, Professor, can you turn off our air cleaner so they can hear? Okay. Now, there are a lot of people out there restoring evergreen tri lights that don't have the experience that uh, the professor has. Uh, sometimes there's one that I recently saw on eBay where right here there is a huge gap. Now you don't want that because then all of the light tends to come out from the sides and not go up to the tree. So you definitely don't want that. And you def definitely don't want to be adjusting the holes. So if you buy a Restore Evergreen Tri Light, it should look like this. There should not be an extra set of holes and it also, the lens Tri Light cover should cover right here so that you don't have any 
saturation of light, losing light from the side. Now we're going to be very quiet. The difference between our restoration and those that you have probably seen, which are not very many, is if you listen, you can't hear ours. Okay, that's it. Quiet. Do not hear that whirring sound. Now, we've had several people ask that we sell them the parts. We're not in the business of selling parts, but I'm going to have the professor explain to you that even doing this work on your own is not uh, quite as simple as we get from some of our customers who say, oh, I'm, I'm mechanically inclined. Well, it's not quite as simple as that. It's not that we're trying to get you to purchase ours. Obviously we want you to, but we want you to understand that this is not just something that you can go in and do in a couple of hours. So I'll let the professor explain. The, the first thing is the um, lid is set exactly where the manufacturer meant for it to be set. A lot of the ones that we see that other people have done as my wife mentioned, uh, the lid is too high. The light comes out from the bottom. They're not, it's just not a good way to do it. The second thing that I wanted to say is that these are not items that you can just take the motor off and then screw a new motor on and turn it back on again. The, it takes precision. Uh, it takes time. It takes equipment that the average person doesn't have. If you don't have a drill press, you shouldn't even be thinking about this job. And it's true with all of the color wheels that we do. So that's just my point there. Okay. So we're going to have three of these for sale. If you're interested, uh, it'll be on our website, www.vintageluminumchristmastree.com. I do not sell on Etsy anymore, although I have one at an extremely high price. I do not sell on Etsy any longer or eBay because their fees are astronomical. I recently sold a uh, satellite for $174.99 and my take home, even with shipping paid separately, my net was at $60. Uh, there is no profit there for us. We just cannot afford to sell on Etsy any longer. We're, um, Etsy mandates that we uh, play a part in their third party uh, advertising and that takes a big chunk, 30%, and they come around and take like another 30%. It's just unbelievable. We cannot sell on Etsy and eBay. Uh, although they don't have that mandated third-party advertising, they still take a huge chunk. So we can't afford to bring these beauties to you uh, at a price that's reasonable and, and take a loss on our end. So I hope you understand that. On our website, we do take credit cards. It's, it's a secure website, and uh, we prefer Zelle but we will take credit cards. So come visit us on the website. And if you're in the market for aluminum Christmas tree, maybe I can pull one out. I can show you what it looks like and restore it for you as well. Thank you very much again for looking at our video and happy holidays to all.